you know, one of the things that struck me about the film is how the purity of the film uh, mimics the purity of the music. I had no idea uh, what this would be like. And, and you can really see your uh, craftsmanship and art putting this together and making uh, this little piece. And, and I, I, uh, I love that he's, he's so uh, talented at, at, at taking this seemingly nothing, you know? I mean, he was just there. And then he pulled all this stuff out of the air and, and, and made this film. Uh, Eric, when you were on the road, um, did you have any intentions of what you were trying to capture, or was it generally just, you know, be there and see what happens? Well, I, I had a few ideas, but that's all you can have uh, when you're making a documentary. Um, you can't really script anything. In that way, documentary filmmaking is kind of kind of related to jazz and improvisation. Yeah. And things will happen that you don't expect. Like the birth of Vicente's child, for instance. This is the first time that we've ever had a band member have a birth during the sound check. <laughs> no, everybody says to me, I can't believe that 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 happened and that you got that on film, you know. How come he wasn't home during the the birth and, and that nobody understands and you have to go on the road and you have these dates. Your entire career has been on the road, right? When you make the statement that you've been releasing an album every year since your first album, which was... 77, yeah. 77. That's a, a staggering amount of productivity and, and output. There's a little bit of... Um, Nostalgia for the old days. There was a great jazz club right in here called Boomers. I used to go to in the 70s. All the greats of jazz used to play there. You know, when I first started to go to jazz clubs, uh, there were more of them. I remember, you know, really when I started out in the 70s. Um, you know, I remember in Philadelphia and, and uh, and in Boston, there were numerous ones, and of course, New York City. And But also, I heard about uh, how there were even more, uh, you know, in the 60s and in the 50s. And uh, this whole jazz club thing, uh, older musicians would tell me about uh, leaving New York and going on the road, and they'd play like two weeks at a time across the country. But they would play for two weeks, and they would play from nine to two in the morning. Uh, and then maybe it wasn't that expensive, but that was a, a, a life for these groups. Uh, and that's the great, you know, classic jazz groups like John Coltrane Quartet and the Bill Evans Trio and Miles Davis Quintet. And now it's New York is the only town that really has a lot of jazz clubs. And, uh, you know, there's something about a jazz club as versus to uh, a, a larger venue that really suits the music. And there's something also about when uh, it doesn't happen as much when groups play two sets or three sets. They used to play more than that. You're just playing more so you get better. Isn't it interesting to, to hear music and see films and uh, read books that are, are coming from uh, a place of, of real meaning for the creator, you know, and that translates excitement to me. And that's what Jörg did with his film, because uh, I think it's important to say that this is not just uh, a concert footage of the John Schofield band or anything. This is Jörg's uh, real peek into to something, and, and he's, he's crafted this this piece about me and these people and and about what he saw and and it becomes this whole other thing that uh that i love and that's what uh, the people my friends that have seen the movie say you know they, that uh, well we you know we knew about your music but this 
film just on its own is is this cool uh, uh, piece of work. So I think it fits perfectly with the music, Jurg's uh, creation. All right. Well, thank you. And enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to watch your film. I'm looking forward to seeing the other one. I'm yeah. going to go walk the dog right now, Brian. So okay, I'll you'll see, see me. You you'll see me working over here. Bye. Okay.